Hey there, fellas. Okay, time for us to conduct another experiment. We've been receiving a bunch of pictures. Well, actually, it's just this one. We're seeing it all over the place, and people keep asking us to make it a reality. Well, sure, if you insist. Right here we have a set of rims. These are the ones we flipped the hubs on. Plus, they're the ones we mounted tires with screws to. Check out the video of how they grip on ice if you haven't seen it yet. Anyway, so here's the idea. We take these here wheels, and if we were to know in advance that we'd be driving in the mud, we'd attach them to the stock wheels, and as soon as the car is stuck and not going anywhere, we'd take this cable, which is soft and not particularly thick, and convert the car to four-wheel drive with the help of these wheels. And fingers crossed that it'll get the car unstuck. Now all we have to do is implement the concept, while you guys look on. Right, let's convert this lot to four-wheel drive, shall we? DIY four-wheel drive system. Can it work? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. All right, here's what's happening, guys. The rims we've currently got attached to the rear wheels, they've got nothing on them. As for the ones we put up front, well, you saw that we reeled some cable onto them and did it in such a way so that the car, when moving forward, unwinds that cable from the front wheels and winds it onto the rear wheels. In other words, the rear wheels, with some help from this cable, will basically spin these front wheels. By the way, just so you guys know, this car is running a welded diff in the back. Completely stuck, eh? Yeah, we weren't able to drive that far. Whatever, no worries. Okay, where's our rescue gear? So, long story short, Back here we've got... Did you connect everything on that side? Yeah. The rear wheels are connected to the front via these cables. Back here the cables will be winding onto the rims, but up front it's the other way around. This should get the front wheels to start spinning. So yeah, that's the basic principle. Now it's a matter of trying it out. Taking it slowly. It actually made it. Oh my god, that was pretty cool. At first I got some torque steer, but that's likely down to the cables varying in length. First one wound up, then the other, and I got a violent jolt on the steering wheel, but then it all evened out, and it went smoothly from there. Nice. Let's disconnect them and keep going. Uh, 
How far can we actually drive with them connected? Did you do any calculations? 60 in total. Oh, 60 meters, right. That's if you drive straight. I thought you meant 60 centimeters. Wait, wheel spin on this thing, really? Oh, great. I got it. What's up? It's hitting something. I can't see shit. What's going on back there? Okay, so the car plowed right into this parked vehicle. We've got a slight incline, so no surprises there. The rubber we're using has no grip at all. And now we see how well it steers. Are these rims gonna allow us to turn the wheels? Turn the wheels. Did you see that? It's a guillotine for chopping off your fingers. Right. Check out what's happening. Okay. Seriously? They tell me I firmly snagged that Lada. Well, I got somewhere. I don't get it. The length of these cables. Is there anything left? It made it out beautifully. Did you see that? I've got three more loops. You saw that, right, fellas? There is one thing worth noting here. I've never driven a car with this sort of four-wheel drive system. Now I've gotten a bit used to it and here's what's up. So it rips the wheel from your grip. At what point... Oh wow, we have toasted the clutch. Anyway, it wasn't easy to predict in advance how all of this would work. But in any case, now I've driven about 10 meters. And I think I get it. I'm not exactly keen on unwinding the cables by hand. So I see we reverse down this hill. That should do the trick. And rewind these cables. I'm sure it'll work. Where? Reel it in, brother. Is it okay on that side? Stop! All right, so it got a bit too tight for us back there where we got started. So we've made it to a different location. Oh yeah, there's plenty of room here. Let's try this again. Damn it, now this is a serious problem.
Giving it some gas. And off I go. Oh, for God's sake. There we go, come on. It moves. How much cable do we have left? About five, six, seven loops. Keep going. Maybe even ten, you've got plenty. Really? I've driven quite a long way. That's it. Is there still a bit left? Yeah, but only just a bit. Go for it. How much? Feels like we're done. We've run out of cable. That gave us a violent jolt. Looks like I've driven about 25 meters. We'll reset the cables and just keep on going. This actually works, what do you know? And I'm on my way. Come on, keep moving. Let's keep going. You got four-wheel drive, come on. The steering is super heavy. Hold up, Vlad. What's up? We've used up the cable? Oh, wow. Okay, so we've decided to load up the rear end and try making our way through without attaching the cables. We'll see how this goes. Let's do this. And here we go. <laughs> okay, guys, let's do a quick recap. This kind of system, which is cable-based and has one glaring fault, which is when the cables start to get a bit of tension, given that the length on either side differs, when one cable doesn't have any slack left in it, while the other one does, it rips the steering wheel right from your hands. And as a result, you don't have the opportunity to slowly get the power down to those wheels. Instead, you're given a good jolt, and at that point, the steering wheel can even break your fingers. The second drawback... So the length of these cables that we used, they were only good for driving about 25 to 30 meters albeit without any wheel spin. Though if you were to use longer cables, which we didn't have at our disposal, you could obviously get a bit further. Anyway, fellas, the system actually works. Try it out for yourselves if you don't believe me. But watch your fingers. I mean, wouldn't want to hurt yourself. When it gives you a jolt, it does so with quite a bit of force. It's best to just place your palms on the wheel. Whatever you do, don't grab it and try to keep it in place. But all in all, it looks like we were successful. And that's all I have for you. You guys watch us, subscribe, send in those comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later. Time to make some tea. I was freezing my ass off out there.